Hello and welcome to my masterclass around fussy eating. Out here in the garden with the cars going by and the men chopping and cutting wood and cars going past like that. This is lesson two, how to introduce a new food to a fussy eater. Now, if you have a fussy eater who doesn't like trying new food, here are some tips that just might help. Put a small amount of new food on the plate with familiar food that your child already likes. So for example, a piece of broccoli alongside some mashed potato. And encourage your child to touch it, to smell it, or to take a lick of the new food. Make food attractive. Offer your child a variety of different colors, different shapes, and different sizes. And let your child choose what they eat from the plate. Keep offering previously refused foods, not all the time, but your child will probably try it and eventually like it, but they might have to see a food on the plate between 10 and 15 times before they'll even try a taste. So that helps you get it in proportion. And when possible, look for opportunities for your child to share meals and snacks with other children because they might be more willing to try a food if other children are tucking in. Serve your child the same meal the family is eating because I think that gets into good habits. But in a portion size, of course, that your child will eat. Don't overwhelm them with the size of the amount you give them. Because if your child doesn't eat it, say something like, go on, try it, it's yummy. And if they still don't want it, stay calm and say, oh, okay, we'll try it another time when you're hungry. Don't get cross. Offer different foods from each of the food five groups. For example, if your child doesn't like cheese, perhaps they might enjoy yogurt instead. And try not to let your child fill up on drinks or snack foods before introducing new foods. They're more likely to try the food if they're hungry and they don't have the option of something else to eat. So let's look at how to handle punishments and bribes for fussy eaters. Now, punishing your child for refusing to try a new food can turn new foods into a very negative thing and a battle. Obviously, you're giving them a bad vibe around food. And if your child refuses to eat it, you can offer it to them again another time. Now, I know it's tempting to offer your child food treats just so he eats something. For example, if you have a carrot, you can have some chocolate. But this can make your child more interested in treats than in the healthy foods. And it also sends the message that eating healthy food is a chore and eating lovely treats is fantastic. So let's look at some fussy eating facts because these facts can help you understand why children sometimes fuss about their food. Children's appetites are affected by their growth cycles. Even babies have changing appetites. Between one and six years, it's common for children to be really hungry one day and very picky the next. Children have different taste preferences from grown-ups. That's a fact, so bear it in mind. They may not like avocado. Life is too exciting for children sometimes and they're too busy exploring the world around them to spend time sitting down and eating. Children learn by testing the boundaries of what is acceptable behavior. And they can be very strong-willed when it comes to making decisions around food, to eat or not to eat and what to eat, because it's all part of their social, intellectual, and emotional development. So let's look at specifically toddlers. Now, toddler not eating or not eating enough is a problem that I hear a lot from parents that write in to me for my Don't Stew Ask Sue feature on my podcast. And many parents worry about whether their toddler is eating enough, whether they're eating healthy food. And it's common for toddlers to eat only very small amounts and to be fussy about what they do and what they refuse to eat. And there are a few reasons for this. 
because toddlers appetites vary constantly because of growth spurts and variations in the activities that they're doing that day. So toddlers aren't growing as fast as babies, so they need less food. Toddlers have very small tummies and very small stomachs. And because toddlers are so interested in the world around them, they have very short attention spans when it comes to food. Now toddlers want to push boundaries and to show that they're independent. So that's how they can do it, through food. Liking a food one day and refusing it the next is common toddler behaviour. It's one of the ways that toddlers show how independent they are. And it can help to think of this in a way that you provide healthy food options for your child and then your child decides how much food they'll eat or not eat. Because appetites have ups and downs, don't they? We're the same. So how to handle them if your toddler won't eat or won't eat whole meals is that you could try reducing the amount that you're giving them to eat. We often overwhelm them with too much and it can make you feel a bit, oh, I don't want to touch all of that, it's too much. So it's normal for toddlers to need only very small helpings at meal times. Also, avoid trying to force your child to finish everything on the plate. I grew up like that. And because this can make meal time stressful. And instead of that, why don't you start praising your toddler for trying a spoonful or having a sip of water if that's all he wants or she wants. And at regular times between meals, you can offer your child healthy snacks like fruit or vegetable sticks. I used to have a great big bowl in the middle of the table with all sorts of wonderful fruit, all chopped up like a fruit salad ready for the kids to pick at. And this should keep them going if they're eating only small amounts at meal times. So, as long as you offer healthy food, try not to worry if your child doesn't eat very much sometimes. Your child won't starve. Children are actually very good at judging how much food they need. I actually have a food diary though that's free on my website in the resources section to help you write down what your child is eating over the course of a week. So you can actually see that it actually turns out probably to be fairly balanced. If it doesn't, then you can do something about it. So go to my resources page and download my food diary. Now, it can help to judge your toddler's appetite over a week, and as I said, rather than over a single day where you get all panicky and fuss. And it's okay if your child eats less today, they might be hungrier tomorrow. But if your toddler is healthy and has enough energy to play and to learn and to explore, then they're probably, as I've said before, they're eating enough. And in some cases, a child's appetite might be affected by a health issue. So if your child is consistently refusing food or you're concerned about your child's growth or overall nutrition, do check with your GP or the family health nurse or an, you know, an accredited dietitian. So let's look at trying new food tips. You might think your toddler is fussy and will eat only one or two particular foods. But sometimes toddlers will try new things if you just keep trying in a relaxed way. Because if you assume your toddler will, will like a new food, you might find a whole new world of discovery opens up for both of you. So creating a positive eating environment, as I've mentioned, is very important because I want you to make meal times a happy, regular and social activity. It can live with you right the way through. I still eat with my children when they come home on Sundays sometimes because we love talking around food and meal time. And that's been right since they were little. And wherever possible, show your toddler how much you enjoy eating the food that you've prepared. Get your toddler involved, as I said before, in helping to prepare and cook the family meals. Offer new foods when you and your toddler are relaxed and they aren't too tired or they're not too distracted by other things. And you're not rushing. And as I've said before, set a time limit of around about 20 minutes for a meal. And if your child hasn't eaten the food, take it away. Don't offer an alternative. 
you know, don't go down that route of being like a restaurant where you're cooking different things for different people and avoid punishing your little one for refusing to try a new food because that can then take tasting new foods into a negative battle. Of course, as I've said before, avoid bribing your toddler with treats so that they'll eat some healthy food because of course that makes them more interested in the treats rather than the healthy thing. And the message is that healthy foods aren't very nice and that, you know, treats are really something to be uh, looked forward to. Try and serve your toddler the same foods as the rest of the family so that it all, they'll all get the nutritional benefits of a wide range of foods. And then they'll learn over time to accept the new tastes and the new textures as just normal. Offer the new foods, as I've said, with foods that your toddler already knows and already likes so that they have a kind of a choice. Keep offering the new foods. And if your toddler refuses something, then offer it again later on in a week or two. So I hope those tips have given you some food for thought. And I hope your toddler starts to enjoy food because that's actually the long term is what you're trying to do. You're trying to lead your child into a healthy lifestyle. So until next time and lesson three, take care.